I can't stay long, Dad. I just dropped by to let you know that I may be late getting home tonight. We have Wednesday night Bible study at the church tonight. Last week's on tithing was so great. Pastor Steele expounded on Leviticus 27, 30 and Malachi 3, 10 last and showed us that God requires tithing. Tonight, he is supposed to be teaching on giving first fruits, which is different than the tithe. Is that all the pastor shared last week? Leviticus 27, 30 and Malachi 3, 10? Yes, Daddy. And it was so good. I wish you would consider attending the services with me. You really would like. Sit down, young lady. You and I need to have a talk about this Bible study. I feel it is doing you more harm than good. How can you say that? The pastor used scripture straight out of the Bible. It was God himself that said to tithe, not Pastor Steele. Sit down. Let's talk. I already told you that I can't stay long. I've got the Bible study meeting tonight. Just hear me out. I promise it will be rewarding for you if you are truly interested in what the Bible says. Didn't you say that your pastor used just two passages from the Bible to show that God requires tithes? Well, not passages, verses. He only used two verses. One from Leviticus 27 and one from Malachi 3. Yes. Those are usually the verses pastors usually use as proof text to get you to tithe your money. Sometimes they will use Matthew 23, 23 too. Now that you mention it, he did say that Jesus said tithing ought to be done. As I thought. However, if your pastor only had you look at those verses so he could prove that tithing is required by God, you did not have a proper Bible study. What do you mean? Your Bible study on tithes should not stop when you discover that God commands tithes. You should continue to study your Bible to find out who God said was required to tithe. What God said was to be tithed. Where God said his tithe is to be observed. To whom God said his tithe is to be given. When God said his tithe is to be given. Why God said to tithing was to be done. Lastly, you need to study your Bible to discover how many tithes God said were to be given. If your Wednesday night Bible study leaders are not teaching you the answers to questions, then you have not properly studied God's biblical tithes. Further, if you have not discovered the answers to these questions, you more than likely are not even tithing in the manner God decreed his tithes are to be observed. Daddy, I am sure Pastor Steele would have taught all these things if we had more time. Bible study is only an hour long. Besides, Pastor Steele addressed a few of those questions when he told us that God requires us to tithe our money to the church we attend. If Pastor Steele is teaching you that the answers to the questions are any one or all of these commonly given answers, 1. Christians are required to tithe. 2. Christians are required to tithe their money. 3. Your local church building is where tithes are to be given. 4. Your pastor is authorized by God to take tithes from the congregation. 5. You are to tithe whenever you get paid at your place of employment or whenever you receive your monthly government benefits check. 6. Tithing is required so that your local church has electricity, running water, and teaching supplies. 7. If your pastor is teaching all these things, and teaching that God requires only one tithe, then you have not properly studied the Bible and have been improperly taught. If the tithe is not money, what is it? The verse in Leviticus that you say you studied last week tells you what tithes were. Were you studying your Bible, or just listening to your pastor? Never mind. Don't answer that. I already know the answer. Had you actually been studying that verse, you would have seen that God said his tithe was to be agricultural, not monetary. It was to be the seed of the land and the fruit of the tree. Verse 32 of Leviticus 27 says that livestock animals were also tithed. Oh, someone asked Pastor Steele about that last week. Pastor Steele said that fruits, vegetables, and livestock were their money. So God did require monetary tithes. Pastor Steele was wrong. Genesis 23, 16 tells us that Abraham purchased a burial cave for his wife Sarah with silver. The verse even says that silver was the money of the merchant. And the Israelites that God was speaking to in Leviticus 27? They had much silver when they left Egypt. The Bible says that they carried much silver out of Egypt. So Pastor Steele is not being honest when he says a agriculture was their money. A proper Bible study will reveal to you that silver was used by the children of Israel to buy food, land, and slaves. It was used to pay court fines. 
It was used to make restitution if one man hurt another man's slave. Oh, Daddy, I did not know this. But Daddy, if tithes are not required, how will the electric stay on at the church? The electric can be paid by free will, voluntary offerings. God's church is built on truths spoken and written by the apostles and prophets. It is not built on lies. I encourage you to consider a new pastor or a new church, if pastor still continues to preach lies. God is not in a lie, so if your pastor is teaching lies, he is leading you away from God, not to God. Oh daddy, I don't think I will be going to Bible study at the church tonight. Can we just have a Bible study at home tonight? Perhaps you can show me the verses that answer the questions you asked earlier. I would like that. And we wouldn't have to limit this study to an hour. You can take as long as needed. I will read along and listen. I'd like that. Yes. Let's commit to a Bible study tonight. Thank you, Daddy, for taking time to tell me these things. I really appreciate it. See you tonight. I love you.